Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's make a Sherpa-lined zip-up hoodie. This hoodie is an Amazon Essentials hoodie, and it's 56% cotton and 44% polyester. I did soak it in soda ash, but I didn't leave it any longer than about 30 minutes because I didn't want it to damage the zipper in any way. I'm going to dye this in tall, deep scrunches because it's pretty thick, and I don't know whether or not I can use sinew or something else on it and get it to tighten down very well. So to do the tall deep scrunches, I'm taking a wire basket and this is more like a container which is intended to put potatoes in in the pantry. I've placed that container down inside of a, another plastic tub or tote and then I'm using wiffle balls and the majority of the wiffle balls that I'm using are softball size. I do have a few baseball size thrown in there too. I'm placing the hoodie on top of the wiffle balls and then just kind of trying to scrunch it around the wiffle balls. So this is my first time using these hoodies and I did not turn it inside out. I did unzip it completely, but I mean, it is so thick. I'm going to try going ahead and dyeing it without turning it inside out and see whether I get a lot of speckling. Let's hope for the best. I'm going to place the dye over the top of the ice, so I'm going to begin by adding quite a bit of ice on top of the hoodie. By the way, I know it's kind of difficult to tell from this camera angle, but the metal rack or little container that I have the hoodie inside of is not sitting all the way down on the bottom of the tub or tote. There is space down below for all of the liquid or the muck to drain away from the hoodie. By the way, all muck is, is the runoff from the mixing dye mixed with the melting ice. Okay, so the dye that I'm using is Woodland from Dye Spin. Then I'm gonna use Feel and Jaded from Dharma Trading Company. And that color was a special muck dye color, which you can't get anymore. It's the middle color on my color swatches over there. Then I'm using Blue Abyss from Dharma as well. I'm randomly sprinkling the dye over the top of the ice. I tend to be kind of heavy handed when I do dye too, so I'm adding quite a bit. Here again, I've never used these hoodies and they're a little bit thick, so I want to make sure I get plenty of dye over the top of the ice because I don't want big, large chunks of the hoodie left undyed. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye. I did go ahead and soak the hoodie in soda ash before I began, but I'm going to add quite a bit of ice to the top and I want to make sure I still have plenty of soda ash remaining in the hoodie to react with the dye. Now I'm going to place this container aside and allow all the ice to melt. I'm not going to add any more ice or dye or anything to the top of the hoodie. Since the weather is a little cooler, I do have my dye space set at about 70 degrees, but I was a little concerned that it had dropped below that level. So I went ahead and allowed the hoodie to process for about three days before I began rinsing it. To rinse the hoodie, I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I switched my water over to hot and I continued rinsing in hot water to try to rinse out the excess dye. As you can imagine, because this thing is so thick, it's a little bit challenging to rinse. So instead of just trying to continue rinsing until I could get it to rinse clear, I went ahead and placed the stopper in my sink, added some really hot water and a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent and just allowed the hoodie to soak. The Blue Dawn dish detergent is pH neutral, so that will help keep any of the dye that is soaked out of the hoodie from redepositing someplace else on the hoodie. 
With this design, it isn't super important because I don't have a lot of white left or I'm not trying to keep a lot of white. And realistically, I kind of just randomly sprinkled the colors over the top. So if some of the dye soaks out and redeposits someplace else, it's not gonna look bad with this design. But with most other designs, you don't really want that to happen. If you'll notice the Sherpa portion looks like it's getting colored or discolored, but it's really not. The dye is just in there, but it didn't bond with that part of the hoodie. So after soaking the hoodie for a while, I kept changing out the water when it would cool off and I continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. I mean, it took a long time to get it to that point. I actually think I soaked this hoodie for close to 24 hours. When the water was finally almost clear, I put the hoodie along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. And now that the hoodie's been washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? So I really like the way this one turned out. I wasn't entirely sure about this just simply because, like I said, it is 56% cotton, 44% polyester, and I wasn't really sure how bright the hoodie would be. Well, it's not as bright as it would be if it were a 100% cotton hoodie, but most of the polyester is obviously in the Sherpa portion, which is the inside or the fuzzy area of the hoodie. So the outside actually dyed really well. I didn't add quite as much blue as I did green, and so I was a little bit surprised that the majority of the hoodie is blue. But the blue abyss is obviously a much stronger color than the two greens that I used. I don't think I've really dyed with the blue abyss very much. That's kind of one of the newer colors from Dharma, and I ordered that not too long ago. So I haven't used that color a whole lot, but I think it's really pretty. And I think it pairs really well with the greens. I wanted something to kind of break up the two greens that I was using and maybe add just a little pop of some other color. And I think that the Blue Abyss works really well for that. And like I said, since the inside of the hoodie was the Sherpa or the polyester portion, that part didn't die. And neither did the two strings on the hood. So they're still beige as well. I was expecting that and so I chose colors that I knew would go really well with that beige or the interior color of the hoodie. So overall, I really like the hoodie and the person who received it as a gift did too. But what do you guys think? Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And I'll put a link down below too for where you can purchase these hoodies. They were on sale when I bought them so I really got them for a pretty good price. They're a great thickness too. They're perfect for when you maybe don't want to pull out that really heavy winter coat, but you need more than just a light sweatshirt. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll hit the bell, you'll receive notifications too whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.